services Q washers eBay and YouTube what we're talking about here is a pressure washer as light as usual uh, 15 litres 200 bar and what the fault is is the unloader now this machine's come in now not a love of this setup what I've simply got there is a motor that's got a hollow shaft and then we've got a pump that's got a male shaft inside and what simply happens is that male shaft that's like on this pump here it goes inside the hollow shaft that's not really the issue what the fault is inside there you've got the shell bearings and they're held together with a gudgeon pin put together now they're all cast and the gudgeon pin is steel a fitting now this machine at the moment is turned on and what we're going to do is make the machine make it appear as though it's got a leak and you'll listen to what happens so we're going to make this leak as though the gun's leaking slightly and the machine will jump you will see the machine jump every time So this is a slight leak that we've caused on the machine. And it will keep doing that. When that machine does that, you'll see the motor bounce and jump. Because what you've got there is a system that is instant stop start. So every time that machine loses pressure, we've got a micro switch here that we've taken in bits already, that unloader drops in place and it pushes against this switch here. Now, the other little thing is all the other switches in the marketplace there's only really this switch out there that's meant to be able to cope with 16 amps uh, so all the other switches exactly the same as this but for some reason or other, this is such a fantastic switch and this is rated uh, this is you'll see on inside there and you'll see what's happened to this switch it's corroded <coughs> and what's happened is with the machine jumping starting stop start stop start there's no delay there so as you let go of the trigger that machine stops pull the machine pull the trigger the machine starts and that's what I'm making this happen now. So that's running. I've got a gun on here as well to show. But that gun obviously is closed and everything else. But like I say, what's happening is that's what happens. You'll see the machine bounce. That pressure switch in there is doing the same. Jumping, starting, jumping, starting. It can't cope with it. And the other thing is... So we've also got a thin cable. Now, if you look at the cables that's coming into the machine itself, we've got three cores coming in, 240 volt on each phase, three phase. And you'll see on this side, we've got this poxy little cable. That's meant to be able to cope with the amperage that that motor is pulling. You've got a, a, you've no 24 volt step down transformer or anything. It's carrying the same amps as what the motor is. So every time that jump starts, jump, 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 that switch inside there is meant to be able to cope. Stuff like this, the volatile market, where your car wash and everything else, you'll have problems you always will have. No flange system to cope with the shaft jumping, starting, stopping, starting against the motor. No time delay, so when you let go of the trigger, the machine stops. If you're not doing anything, it'll continue running for a period of time, then shut itself down. That's if the trigger's not pulled. If the trigger's pulled, the machine will start back up again on its own after a period of time. It then gives you a chance, but on this system, every time that gun is leaking, and that motor is meant to be able to cope. Now, like I said, when that's doing that, that shaft inside there is also doing the same, trying to turn, you've got the shell bearings inside there. It's expecting all of a sudden to produce 200 bar every time it jumps at 15 litres. So them, sh them shafts inside there, the shell bearings themselves get stretched on the pin and they snap. But like I say, these are sold in the marketplace, put together as cheap as they can do to get a sale. And you, people out there buy them and this is what they don't understand. What you're better off is with the machine running continuously, making it suck and making it dump back to tank. So when you let go of the trigger, the machine returns to tank and it keeps running. You're better off with a machine like that if you don't want to go down the route of making a machine time out after a period of time, or you don't want to put a delayed system. All that's on top of there is a contactor. Nothing else. If we took the top off, you'll see a contactor, and that contactor is run on that micro switch. And that is the consequences. So this switch here, with them little wires, meant to be able to cope with it, and they don't, it fails. So the machine will either start or the machine itself. And like I say, all I'm doing is making that leak. Yeah, immediately, every time you stop, let go of that trigger, the machine stops, pull the trigger, it starts. If you're running a valeting system, you need to either leave the machine running and bypass this system, make it flow and return, or you need to be putting a system in place that is a, 
a timeout set up so you can literally let go of the trigger the machine won't shut down immediately but if you're not doing a job it will shut itself down after a period of time either make it on a pressure system where the machine starts back up and you pull the trigger or it just simply times itself out and you've got to press a button for it to start back up so like i say great pump great motor but the combination where they built it they put it together put it together as cheap as chips and that's the consequences problems and like i say i come across more more and more of these all the time with the shell bearings inside all snapped thank you very much q services get what you pay for in this world